So today on the show, Cooking with Steven, we're going to have Chinese dessert or a soup that I grew up with. Right here. Look at this. Coconut milk, water, sugar, and um, honeydew melon. That's all you need, but it tastes awesome. Fresh is always good. Take a look at Well, be honest, I didn't grow up on cookies or ice cream. This is the dessert I grew up with. Honeydew melon, you can find it in Stop and Shop. Coconut milk, you can find it anywhere nowadays. But what is important is this right here, Chinese rock candy. It's not granulated white sugar, brown sugar, or even cane sugar, uh, because it causes to me a kind of um, build up in my throat. So when I'm sick or when I don't feel like having something blocking my throat, I have this and the taste is much more subtle and it would work well with the uh, coconut milk in our dish today. And outside of that, what is important is the tapioca pearls. And this is very tricky to cook. So follow me back to the studio and I'll show you how to do it, right? Let's go. Today, dessert time. It's not really ice cream or cookies that we are all familiar to in the West or in America. But today, I'm going to make you something called uh, in Cantonese, mi gua sai mai lou. In Mandarin Chinese, mi gua si mi lou. In English, it's just um, honeydew melon with tapioca enriched with uh, beautiful rock candy and coconut milk. So what we do is that we have really good ripe um, honeydew melon. You put it into a pot of boiling water like so. Voila. Let it cook for a while. You know, cover it up, wait for it to boil. And as I talked to you earlier in the uh, supermarket, this right here is um, rock candy. And this right here, this is awesome. I grew up eating this as candy. Look at this. Like, like isn't it? some sort of a, uh, I don't know, like crystal white diamond that is not clear. I just like it. Um, so this right here is boiling water and it is very important for making uh, tapioca. For those of you who have made um, tapioca pudding, you know that you need to um, ideally soak it in hot water first before um, it gets cooked. Whistling sound, out it goes into my tapioca. It'll form a um, translucent color and you always want it to go from pure opaque like that hold on to um, somewhat translucent because otherwise when you put it into um, your pot it might just, how would you put it, not be cooked through and it'll give you a tummy ache that's not the best thing to do coconut milk all right, coconut milk, I like it a lot because I grew up in Southeast Asia, Singapore to be exact, where they have the most of that stuff. Um, it's Honestly, I must say that um, it's not that good for you, at least in terms of health, because it's filled with, uh, I think they call it saturated fats. But if it tastes good and uh, you use it every once in a while, it's not that bad compared to the uh, amount of cream and uh, dairy you're having in ice cream, for example. Okay, one thing about coconut milk, whenever you get it, if you looked at my can just now, um, the top was a layer of um, solidified or creamy uh, layer thing. You always, if as much as possible, I mean, if you can, uh, try to mix it before you pour it into anything. Reason being that if you have the top layer of cream, if you dump it into hot water, it's gonna form little, uh, little part particulates or particles, uh, whatever, you know, little, little stuff that's, that's going to ruin your soup. The idea is to have it to be uh, milky white, nice and smooth, and not have little stuff stuck in your, your throat. All right, let me whip this up. Better consistency, get the sides. At this point, uh, it's still boiling a little bit, but it'll be a good idea. Get my sugar. How much? A big pot like that? A lot. I like my sweet. So in you go, like half a packet maybe. If it's not sweet enough, good thing about this is that it's um, small enough, so you can you can you can you can um, have it melt quick enough to serve it. Right. Ooh, uh, it's hot. Let's see. 
a little bit of a stir. Make sure I have my pot on high. Oops, it's not on high. Right here. So once it's um boiling, I would put my tapioca in. You see right now it's half transparent as compared to uh, this right here, which is um, opaque. And this is what you want to get. Because if you don't soak it thoroughly beforehand and you put it into the pot, it's going to come out with an uncooked center. Because when it's cooked, it's totally tran transparent. So this right here is half cooked. So you soak it in hot water, remember. So right now it's boiling. Look at that. It's uh, on a rolling boil. What I need to do now is to get rid of excess liquid right here. Don't mind the loss. It's not too bad. You have like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of um, tapioca here. So not too big a loss. And notice that right now before I add it, I'm going to add my um, tapioca before I add my coconut milk. Like I said, you do not want to lower the temperature too much of um, this pot. So if I were to have added my coconut milk, I just would have to wait longer and that doesn't make sense. And right now, it's still on high. This thing was kind of hot, so if I cover this, it should boil really quickly. Alright, let's see. La la la. Right. I'm gonna let it cook for a little bit longer to make sure my um, my tapioca is cooked through. Hold on, let me see if it's sweet enough first. Do not try this at home. Actually, no, you can because small surface to big surface cools down really quickly. You see? Oh yeah. Is it sweet enough? Not really, so let's be generous on the sugar. Ow! Mmm. Okay. I'm gonna stir it a little bit. And at this point, I think it'll be alright to add the uh, coconut milk. So you add it, stir it. Little by little, so that you try to reduce the amount of um, particulate matter that you get. Boom! Now that's one giant pot of good soup right there. You can put it in the freezer, eat it in the morning as breakfast, or you can even eat it um, after each meal. Um, you no, know, just to just to get yourself going. And that's it. I'm gonna let it cover and that shall be good. So in the future, you can serve this hot or cold, depending on your liking, and you can serve it really thick, meaning that you put less water and um, more coconut milk, or you can serve it with um, in a more diluted form. It's all personal preference. The amount of ingredients, you know, personal taste. If you have really good honeydew melon, you can use less. If you like the honeydew melon taste a lot, use more, you know, like sugar. It's all according to taste, so. That is your personal choice. And until next time, this is Cooking with Steven. Bye-bye. And just a little story about Singapore. Um, when I was in Singapore, rather than Malaysia and Thailand, they do use monkeys to um, be, I mean, to, to be the harvesters of coconut. So there you have this little monkey uh, climbing up the tree and then they, they were little, little guys twisting the, the coconut and fall off. Good stuff. The funny thing is that when I was in France, there was a story. Um, my host mother was telling me how I should go about, um, well, no offense, she was telling me how I should go about finding myself a girlfriend. It's, my host mother said it's like choosing a melon. You need to pick up several, smell several, and uh, test several before you know what is right.